Hey y'all, it's Cameron with the K. Come to you guys with another affordable week series video. Okay, wait, I'm too happy. Let me try that again. Run it back. <laughs> Another affordable week series video. just come back and like act like we're good and like not address where I've been so y'all if you see my content has done a little shift okay I'm doing a lot more like law content and lifestyle content which I love and you guys have been loving too but I don't want to leave out my wig lovers my wig slayers my hair squad my hair community my Papa Bill family like anyway so today's video I am so excited to be bringing you guys yet another affordable wig as you know my affordable wig series or if you don't know welcome hi so across my video hello I'm Cameron with a K, Cameron Monet, <laughs> here to slay. Um, no, I'm kidding. I have a lot of energy today, so I'm so sorry if I'm coming off like super energetic, but like, I'm just so excited to be doing these videos. Like my, my channel started off with wigs, okay? Natural hair and all that. I also will be having a wash hair, washing, natural hair wash day routine coming soon. Again, it's gonna be on a Tuesday. I think that's just gonna help so you guys kinda know when to come to my channel. So, my affordable wig series, they feature wigs that are $50 and under. Sometimes we just a little bit over 50, maybe 60, but I try to keep it in the super affordable range. I would never tell you guys any product, wig, clothing, or whatever that I wouldn't purchase myself. So that's just just let's just keep it a hundred, okay? So I will have sponsored content on these on this series, but you know what? Y'all know I keep it real regardless of who's paying me or what's not getting paid. Like it's what it is. But that's it. Uh, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and just jump into the video. Welcome to the unboxing portion of today's video. <laughs> so I have Sensational Ella in the color number two. And I'm just showing you guys the wig right out of the package. Y'all know how we do with our affordable wig series videos. And I'm just taking off all the extra stuff that you just don't need on your wig. So there are two combs at the top and it is a side part wig. There is a comb on the bottom and adjustable straps. The combs are near the parting area, which again is a side part. That's just the structure of the wig. I'm sure you can kind of, you know, make some shake and move it to the middle, but it's definitely meant to be on the side. Here I'm just showing you guys an up close of the curls. They're absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, and it looks so, 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 so natural. Like I've gotten compliments since I've been wearing it and people thought it was my hair. But you know, I try not to lie. You know, I try not to lie, but it's wig gang. I will add, this wig is really snug. Um, and my head ain't that big, so... I think I have like a 22 inch circumference, maybe 21.5. So it's definitely not big. So just heads up, my big head girls, my big head queens, okay? Got a little bit more scalp on you. <laughs> no, um, but you can adjust the um, adjustable strap as you see fits. Okay, so here I'm just putting the wig on. I'll try it on now before I cut the lace. You know, I try to be a little bit more of like a wig guru type thing, you know. But I still don't feel comfortable cutting out my head. I do it sometimes, but like I want to keep my edges and I'm clumsy. So we're going to cut the wig off of my head okay let's just you know let's just do that <laughs> um so that's what i'm doing here and always keep in mind that you cut the lace off in a zigzag motion as you see me moving my arm kind of up and down my wrist whatever so that i'm getting that zigzag feel because if you look at your hairline sis yes go do it do it right now i see you <laughs> um your hairline is not perfectly straight across so you don't want your wigs hairline to be perfectly straight across because that is a key indicator that girl that's a wig okay and it, we're not trying to hide it but like you know can we conceal it a little so that's why i like to um do it in a zigzag motion so here i was just lightly tugging on the wig to get some of that excess shedding off from me um cutting the wig and then now we're gonna put the wig on the initial reaction in five four three two hey it's cute y'all i really really like this wig i have it on right now as i'm doing editing this video it's on my head right now we love to see it. Um, and I'm just trying to get a feel for the wig, figure out how I want to put it on. I was trying to decide if I wanted to use the combs. And then I realized that the combs are actually at the parting space. But even still with that, I just prefer bobby pins. I feel like I have a little bit more control of the tugging when it comes to bobby pins as opposed to combs. But that's just my personal preference. You can definitely use combs or even add an elastic band. I love wearing elastic bands with my, like my human hair wig. So, Okay, y'all. So I have the wig on my head, as you see. But it needs some work, okay? So... You can see the lace around it, and this side is still lifting up. I'm going to grab a bobby pin. Um, oop, are we in luck? 
Y'all, I swear I buy bobby pins all the time and they just be gone. Anybody else? Oh, here they go. Listen, now, if I, look, if I lose all these bobby pins, if y'all see me ever mention I lost a bobby pin, somebody be like, Cameron, what happened to the 50 some odd? <laughs> okay, so I have one bobby pin on this side. I'm going to do the same to this side just to kind of kind of put the hair in its place. Because I don't really like clips and cones. I don't mind them, but honestly, a lot of times bobby pins are just quicker. You know what I'm saying? Like quicker, and then I try to get some hair. To kind of cover it up by the bing by the boom okay and this is when i'm not doing too much so the hair ain't gonna be moving that much because i ain't gonna be moving that much so we're good okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is take some old mascara this is not what i use in my eyes i'm gonna just put it around the perimeter that i want dark so like here i don't want that to be that light i want it to be dark more like edges rather than like scalp because the lighter parts on the wig is supposed to mimic scalp that's the whole point of lace it's supposed to mimic like a scalp or as opposed to um like the hair so i'm just going in on that and some people like the scalp thing like and if i was um doing like a lace front this would be different but this is a synthetic wig i'm trying to slap on my head or quick in the mornings okay hold on this side I'm trying to hold it back hold up and we're gonna cut and shape the wig because just not doing it for me so i like to let me show y'all let me clip this part up that already looks better i'm going to take a piece of this hair like this and then bobby pin it so you see how i kind of created like a a barrier you know what i could probably cut this lace yeah because it's doing too much but i don't want to cut my real hair but this lace can't go boom just like that boom just like that don't be afraid to cut your wigs y'all that's why you have synthetic wigs they're cheap okay um anyway so i like to pull it a little and then kind of body pin it right in between there that's how i like to do it boom 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 okay so then i'm gonna go back in with my mascara and just make sure i cover all the places don't do it on the part now. You see the part right there? You don't want to put no black there. Because that won't make any sense. But there. That looks much better. Okay. Yes. Y'all see? Look at that. I'm saving lives. Y'all not hearing me. This does not have to be that complicated, y'all. I like to quick and easy lazy girl slay, okay? On behalf of time to do all that sometimes. Okay. So... I'm going to add some, I love that it has these small little, little tiny baby hairs. I really don't even have to set them. They kind of, I think they're kind of cute, kind of just kind of messy or whatever. But let me um see how I want to cut this or if I want to cut the wig. I feel like this is too much. So actually, if I don't want to cut it, I'm going to do my little method that I do. Y'all seen me do this before. Take a bobby pin and kind of pin up this part, the bang part, so it can not fall down as much so there we go y'all see i didn't even have to cut anything okay this one trying to show out trying to show out because i'm trying to show y'all trying to show out and then you can use multiple black pens i'm trying to just use one though there we go see give it some shape without even having to cut anything if you need to use multiple black pens i'm gonna need to because this one trying to show out i'm gonna get another black pen so i'm just gonna take another long one you can use a short one and I'm just gonna pin this. I hope this is making sense how I did that. So yeah, I'm just kind of pinning it back so that it's not so much in my face and it's giving me a little bit of a shape. Y'all see that? Let me brighten it up a little. There, so you guys can see that? How it gave it some shape in the front and it's not like Drip dropping down on my face which you know that may be what I want some days so I like that now I can just pin it without having to cut it so it's less permanent you know what I'm saying so I'm looking on the side at this mirror to make sure I don't look crazy but y'all think this is really cute this is so cute y'all especially for just because you want to wear wigs and weaves don't mean you don't want to wear natural hairstyles so I love that this lets me get that curly girl feel while still protective styling my natural hair so this is so cute i love this this is doing it for me okay let me add a little bit on the part i don't even really need to do much on the part 
Honestly, 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 I really don't need to do much. Honestly, honestly, I did that. <laughs> I didn't even do nothing. Okay, so let's add a little bit on the part. Y'all already know. Comment below what I use on my part. I've been using this for years, okay? I'm gonna see if you really from Poppinsonville. Comment below if you from Poppinsonville because I've been saying that for, you know what? Where's the OG subscriber that? Where are you at, sis? Where are you at? So, um, L'Oreal True Match Powder Foundation in the color Cappuccino. On my parting space, y'all. I'm using any type of little brush. I prefer one that's not as dense as this one just so I can control the powder, but let me see if I can show y'all. Trying to look at it and show y'all the same time at the same time. Look. Look what just happened. Ain't no bleach. Just powder foundation, sis. That's it. And it's a little, it's not even, it's like maybe one shade lighter than my skin tone. Maybe. You don't want to go too light or too crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is much easier to control powder. Also, powder is much easier to control than like a liquid foundation. So listen, I just put this on right on there. Y'all see? Dust it off the hair a little bit. Just dust it off, okay? Add a little more where you see fit. Go a little bit further back. We love a little deep part. And that's it, y'all. You can definitely separate these curls so they're not as defined. You know, maybe not separate the curls in the front, but, you know, give it some shape. Have fun with it. Yes, this is so cute. This is so cute. Okay, y'all, this might be my new wig this week at work. I try not to switch my wigs too much at work, but they're going to get a new wig, okay? I try to, like, stick to one wig for, like, a week or two. But this... Who was buying my phone up? No, ma'am. Anyway, this is so cute. Wait. But let me spin around so you guys see the back. Oh! Cue the music! I'm so hyped, y'all. I haven't done one of these videos in too long. I miss y'all. enjoyed this video i know it's super quick and not much to do this is such an easy go-to wig you guys especially like i was saying if you're natural and you want to wear natural hairstyles and you want to wear your hair natural you know what i'm saying with like curls coils kinks whatever the case may be but you want to preserve your natural hair and make sure you're protecting it for a season pull out a natural hair wig y'all do it i mean you can't tell me this ain't my scalp somebody is a hater <laughs> you know when you feel cute you like look at me you like oh you cute <laughs> girl i love the curls yeah i might have to pull these out at work i might have to switch it up on them real quick let them know what's up this is so cute <laughs> so yeah guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video enjoyed and leave me some comments down below let me know what wigs you guys want me to review i feel like i've been out the wig game for a minute but i'm back back. so i'm gonna try to upload an affordable wig series video on Tuesdays okay it may be twice it may be three times it may be four times but at minimum I will be uploading two affordable wig series videos from here on out and I will guys I will let you guys know if that changes um I also want to do other hair videos on Tuesday so Tuesday will be like my hair video day so yeah stay tuned I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video later